All right, y'all. Picked up another project uh, for a very good client of mine. I'm doing another car for him. Um, and he called me out, said, hey, looking to get an Impala. Need you to come check it out. Put it on the trailer. Do what you do to it. Um, so I met him out. We got the car out in uh, Atlanta. Um, I got it loaded on the trailer now. It's been sitting in a parking garage for probably about two years. Um, so I'm bringing it home, but I figured I'd take it to the local little car wash and, and wash it. The car does run and drive um, great. Uh, we took it for a test drive, drives good, but I figured um, while I had it on the trailer, I might as well just wash it on the trailer. And I wanted to um, wash my trailer off a little bit. I got some oil on it from a car I towed the other day. Uh, so here it is, it's a 94 SS. Um, pretty much original, uh, except for the radio and other than that and believe it or not the rear seats are the only like uh are worse than the front the front seats are okay um the rear seat is really the one that's that's messed up so we already talked about getting that done we're going to take care of the headliner put some new carpet in it uh pretty much re redo the whole interior i've already talked to my parts guy told him what i need so he's going to be on the lookout um wheels right there is cracked look like somebody banged the car pretty hard in it and it's pretty dirty so i'm gonna go ahead and clean it up get it uh all cleaned up and um get it going for those who don't know the 94 was the first year the impala came out and uh, you can always tell a 94 because of the it has the mirrors down here on the door and in the back instead of having the quarter mirror um it has it and it has these little plates over it so it looks like a removable plate um on the 94 other than that they're identical to the 95 and 96 well the 95 identical to the 95 really because it's got the um the cup holder and the column shifter uh, but other than that it's it's pretty much the same um so we're gonna get him a new spoiler um may have to get him a new front bumper it's a little crinkled on the other side we'll see uh but plans for this is basically put it back to stock we're gonna get it painted back black uh, get some new wheels for the other side, redo the interior. Uh, I think the only thing he wants custom really on the interior is a double din stereo um, with the touchscreen and everything. So we'll have to get with uh, 2S or Details, one of those guys, get the double din stereo. And then he wants a wood grain steering wheel. That's his thing. Um, I don't know if we're tinting the windows. Uh, we talked about a sunroof, but I don't know if he's going to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and get it cleaned off um, best I can just for now and then get it to the house and get started on it. cleaned up um it's not great looks like somebody splashed some paint on it um this is coming off pretty good with the uh pressure washer so i'll get a razor blade get the rest of that off and then when it gets painted they'll take care of all that so i'm not too worried about that uh but it cleaned up pretty nice i'm not gonna dry it off i'm just gonna let it air dry i mean um doesn't have to be perfect it's getting painted so and normally normally i am so against using this to wash your car it's so I, oh, I hate when people use these things to wash their car. I mean, it just destroys the paint. Um, the only reason I used it is because this car is getting painted, so we don't have to save the paint or anything on it. Um, other than that, I do not use it, and you shouldn't either. Um, so it's all cleaned up, so we're going to get it home, uh, get it parked. Probably have to put it in the garage because it looks like somebody tried to break in. So I got to change the locks, change the trunk lock, some other stuff. Um, but other than that, she, she's ready to go. So we'll get her home and I got my trailer washed off and we'll let it air dry. So I'll pick it up uh, later on as I do work on it and stuff like that. Um, 
I try to start putting these videos out more often. I met a couple subscribers and, you know, um, just randomly. And, you know, they were like, yeah, man, we look forward to the videos and everything like that. And I just haven't been posting them. So I'll go ahead and uh, get this thing home. And then uh, as we dive into it, get it painted, get the interior done, uh, stuff like that. I'll keep you guys updated on this build and who it belongs to. So we'll get it out of here and get it home. All right, y'all. Got another one for you. So getting a little progress done on the 94 Impala. Um, spoke to the customer, said he wants to um, get the interior done as soon as possible. So we're gonna get the interior done, get the, um, fix the door locks, get a lower dash, upper dash. And I think he needs a driver's side door panel. So hit up my boy Ivan. Um, and so I don't know if he has those parts yet, but I'm getting ready to go drop the seats off because if you didn't know, he refurbished seats. He has a guy that's really, really good, does a great job. So I got the seats pulled out. As, as you can see, these things are pretty bad. So, <clears throat> so if you remember from the first video, the front seats actually aren't this bad. These are some different front seats that I had laying around. So I figure since those aren't in too bad of a shape, I can leave them in the car and get these ones done. And then I'll just swap them with the uh, with the ones that are in the car currently. And these are the back seats that were trashed. So getting ready to load up um, and take these to Ivan uh, so I can drop these off, get them done. Got a couple projects I'm working on here. It's a 96 that came in for an oil leak. Uh, turned out to be a power steering leak, so I replaced the high pressure line, uh, put a new radiator in it, and new oil cooler lines. I think that's from the uh, front seal. I haven't addressed that yet. And then I'm taking apart the wipers because the wipers don't work. Okay, so that's not supposed to happen. So once I fix that, I'll get an update on that. Wife's and Paula still in here. I got some issues with the title that we're trying to work out. So that's why you haven't really been seeing me uh, do any videos or anything on it. <coughs> so she's still around. Uh, I took the wheels off because actually the wheels that were on it actually came off of my car and I was gonna buy some other wheels um for my car but when all this happened i was like well you know what i'm just gonna take them off put it back on the stocks put those wheels on my car and then eventually later on i'll put some different wheels uh on it so i mean the only thing i got done on it so far was i got the engine somewhat taken apart it had a misfire on cylinder two so i was getting ready to change the wires uh water pump was leaking so i was gonna put a new water pump on it and i was gonna take the headers off because uh, those are edelbrock headers and they have a they have a leak and they you know I just don't like them. Um, I've seen these and the hooker headers up at Ivan's shop on a lot of cars that were burnt up. Uh, so just because of how much heat they create under the engine bay and what they're close to, for some reason, they all, a lot of them catch fire. So I don't want to take any chances on it. But once we get the title situation sorted out with this, I'll do some more videos on this. Uh, this one is, a, is another one. It's an LS3. Uh, for a lady that came to me um, the engine was already engine and trans was already in the car um, I just had to kind of finish it up put the intake on uh, Tighten up the fuel system get the power steering lines in I put a computer uh, I came with the e38 computer um, And he had bought like a TCI transmission controller and it was just a whole mess So we ended up getting another e38 computer from a 2009 Express van with a t42 to control the 4L80. I actually just got this to start for the first time yesterday. Uh, Cause when I hooked up the new computer and transmission uh, controller over there, it didn't start. And I had to go in with HP tuners and, um, and remove the vats and the ANSI lock codes and all that good stuff. But once I did that, she fired right up. So this one's gonna be done pretty soon. Uh, the customer is bringing me just the last few things to finish it up, um, air filter, uh oil cap uh what else something else he needed to finish it up oh the collectors for the exhaust because the previous shop that had it just put these cheap shorty headers on it i mean you can see they had to bang them in pretty bad over here just to get them to fit which is terrible so these look like some just cheap hundred dollar ebay headers nothing special the car has brp mounts um brp hot rods on the engine mounts and the transmission mounts and with those engine mounts you actually have to run their their headers i've seen i think i know one or two cars that ran some aftermarket headers but i don't remember which what they came off of or whatever 
Um, but that's what's recommended for this because the other 96 Impala I did with a 6.0, I did the BRP headers and the BRP mounts and the whole nine, and those things went in perfect. So that's this car. This one will be out of here um, in the next few days. I'm going to take it to the exhaust shop probably tomorrow and get the exhaust done on it. Uh, other than that, it's pretty much stock. Um, belongs to a good friend of mine. So I'm going to get this one out of here. Uh, what else we got? And then my car, I posted on Instagram um, when the cam had messed up. So it's back together now. Um, runs great. Uh, it's got the... It had the 317 stock 60 heads on it uh, with a stage two summit cam. Just a, I think part number was like 8700 or something like that. It was just a stage two cam, low lift. I think it was like 585 and 114 LSA. Um, since the other cam got messed up, I put a new cam in it. It's a Texas Speed Torker V2, um, 600 lift, uh, 234, 236 duration, and 112 LSA. And I got some 799 heads on it. Oh, there we go. So 7.99 casting heads with BTR dual valve springs on it. Um, stock rockers, so I think 600 lift is the biggest I can go with the stock rocker arms. Um, so I haven't uh, haven't got anything else done on it. I got it back together yesterday or day before. Fired it up. Um, only issue I did have with the air ride, um, it's catching on this wheel right here. So it's slicing the wheel and the tire. So I'm either gonna have to adjust, luckily I have adjustable control arms. I can move it forward a little bit um, to kind of correct that. Cause I have tons of room in the front to where it should clear it, where I can lay it down and it won't, it won't cause any problems. Um, so it's almost done, almost ready to go to paint. But the, um, the air ride manifold, I ran a slam specialties manifold on it and the number two valve, which is for my passenger front wheel, it wouldn't fill the bag. The fill valve was messing up. I think the coil bur burnt out or something in it. So the whole car would lift up except for that corner. Um, so I contacted them yesterday. They sent me an RMA. I just put it in the mail this morning. So they said, you know, I think they should get it Monday. So I should have it back in a few days following that. And then I can get it uh, back together off the paint. Um, interior is pretty much in, um, so you can kind of see I'm still kind of working with the wiring and, and stuff like that. This is all the, the controller for the air ride and, and all that, but the seats are done. I'm probably going to have the carpet redone because I didn't do it right. I hate doing carpet, so I'm going to have uh, my boy come do my carpet for me on Monday. And, um... Yeah, so she's back together. She runs good. Actually sounds a lot better than it did um, before with the new cam in it and the new heads. So, and then the last thing I got is uh, a green DGGM that's getting an LS swap, but I'll do a whole separate video on that. I'm not even going to show you that yet. I'm going to do a separate video on that. So those are the current projects I got here. Um, so we've got a little bit going on. Um, so I'm going to get these seats down to Ivan and, um, maybe I'll film a little bit when I get down there so you can kind of see his shop and what he has and, and stuff like that. I go there all the time. So I'll pick it up when I head down there. Alright, so we load it up, got it strapped down, and get it home, inventory the extra parts, and um, basically start on this swap. <laughs>